Yeah. What is it? Um, uh, body just went completely tingly. Body. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm good. I feel everything. I feel everything. I could probably get up. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta look at your neck here first. Okay? Put your arm down. I don't feel any neck pain. No neck pain. I think I just got like a, like my body just shocked. All right. Like my arms very like tingly. Yeah, uh, well, legs good, but my arms are like pokey. Stay down, sweaty. Just stay there, right? Yep. You don't want to take the helmet off? No. We're going to make sure your neck's okay. Okay. Right. Helmet stays on. We're going to log roll you. Okay, we got to wait for people. Well, scary injury here for Josh Sweat of the Eagles, and they brought the card out and have him stabilized for precautionary reasons. We have seen him moving his arms and his legs. They have him stabilized at this point for precautionary reasons. Hey, Flat. Yo. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm just tingly as a bitch. All right, we're gonna take care of you. Okay. Just hold tight there. She's got, she's got the card coming. Yeah, we're gonna. Bro, I'm pretty sure I could just stand up. Uh oh. Shoot, so ball snap. I'm coming down the line, you know, a short yardage. So I'm expecting, you know, pretty much just go make the stop, you know, and get off the field. And um, I came in and I didn't get my head all the way out of the tackle. And um, it was, it was kind of crazy. Like my whole body just kind of went limp. I was like tingling everywhere. And, you know, it, it was scary at first, but you know, once I was able to move and everything, you know, I was good. I, but I just laid there anyway, just to make sure, you know, nothing was wrong. I mean, I just let the guys do their job and they took care of me. All right, everybody, let's go. We go. I'm going to go one, two, three, roll. We're going to move them on roll, and then I'll go one, two, three down to get the board down, okay? okay. Yep, we're just going to roll up. You got them? Yep. Good. Everybody ready? One, two, three, roll. Good. Okay, ready? Down board. Guys, right? Okay. One, yeah. two, three, down. Okay, you got the uh, strap? You got the straps. All right, just hold tight right there, okay? You got the, uh, make sure it's on the right. All the way. Bring the car. Back, back right. Can you like loosen the face mask for me, please? Chin. We can't. Yeah, I, don't chin strap? I don't want to loosen it too much. We got to keep that neck and stabilize, okay? Just as a precaution. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll say I'll count one, two, three, then lift, all right? One, two, three, lift. And onto your car. Hey, don't drop me. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming off the sideline to give Josh Sweat well wishes as he heads off stabilized on the cart after this early injury. Oh, you sweat. Oh, you sweat. Oh, you sweat. Oh, you sweat. Oh, I mean, at first, like for, for about a good five, eight seconds, it was just full tingle everywhere. And um, I mean, it's crazy looking back at it now, but you know, after, after that, I was able to, you know, get some feeling and uh, I was moving my arms, moving my legs. And, um, you know, it was scary at first. That's like second worst fear for me personally, you know, like a spinal injury or something like that. The Eagles, with a 14-3 record, earned the number one seed in the NFC playoffs, and with that, a bye week. So there is some time to work on the basics, some techniques, some fundamentals to get healthy both mentally and physically, and to be at their very best when the NFC divisional playoff round begins in two weekends. You know, bye week is a huge advantage. It's not only an opportunity to get fresh, but it's an opportunity to really self-evaluate. You know, I think in the midst of a season, 
Uh, you know, every week ends up being preparation for who you're gonna play next. When you get a bye week and you, know, you don't know who you're playing and you know, all you really can focus on is yourself and you know, all these little drills, all these little things that kind of go by the wayside as the season goes on, you know, the coaches uh, being able to really just assess our team, I think that's a huge advantage to the bye week. Hey, uh, one announcement uh, before we break down. All pro teams come out. All right, so first team all pro, center Jason Kelsey. Yeah. Yeah. Right tackle, Lane Johnson. Yeah. Second team all pro, quarterback Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Hassan Reddick. Yeah. Corner, James Bradbury. Yeah. Wide receiver, AJ Brown. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. All right, hey, be safe this weekend. Jason, you got us. Hey, man, let's, great work week. Let's take care of this. We worked too f***ing hard. Uh -huh. hey, Eagles on three. One, two, three, Eagles! Ah! we talk here, why are we here? How did we get to this spot? The guys that are sitting in the chairs make this why we're here, why we're the one seed, why we're playing the Giants at home on Saturday. We've done this, we've imposed our will, we've imposed our identity on opponents for 17 freaking weeks, but now here's where we're at. It's about here and right now. It's about this game and this game only. No better motivation than for each other. None, none. I don't care who we're playing. I don't care about them. All I care about is us and wanting to make sure that we succeed for each other. It's game time, baby. I really got Philly finest in here. Ready to run in there, make some plays. I'm out the dub, you know? If we played our best game, probably not because we're continuing to grow. Let's go play our best game together tomorrow because we're on this path. Why wait? Give me everything you got. Yeah. Everything you got. We did all this for a reason. We come this far for a reason. Uh -huh. We do all this for a reason. Uh -huh. So put on the show today. Uh -huh. It don't take too much. Talk to be who we are. Talk to who we always been. We're family, all for one and one for all. We're gonna do this together. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Bam. Let's go. I thought I told you, homie, we don't play. Homie, we okay. Another rap, another DOA. Hey. See, it's crazy what I'll do for the money. See, he's twisted up and you thought he was a honey. But he riding and he's siding with the ops. Now there's 50 on his head, on his top. But I'm siding with the eye, yeah, I got him. Thought I told you, you don't really want the bottom. Hurts will look to throw. He's got, got it with a one hand. and he turns it into a score from 16. Third and three, Barkley swings out. Jones gets tripped up and drops. Bubble screen, Devontae Smith got a block, got a touchdown. Eagles making it look easy. They're in the fucking ring now. They can't tap out now. Let's keep it on. Keep the pressure on. That ball is... Honestly, my time off was, for me personally, it was torture. The most important thing for me was just being out there. I just wanted to make any any play I could, 
big, you know, small, it didn't matter to me. I just wanted to be a part of, just a part of why we won the game. That's all, I just wanted to be out there, you know, celebrating with my teammates, and being a part of where we're at now. And I got the opportunity and it was great. Slay, how does it feel going to your first NFC championship? Honestly, that's been amazing, you know? That's what we got together, man. Right? We were working hard for this. Yes, sir. We out here to go get it, man. Right, right, right. You know, this game ain't done yet. Gotta go ahead and finish, and we're gonna execute. I played the corner like Darius Slay. Shot the vibe like Cash or Clay. I knew the answer like Sway. Pack them up, it really going away. I'm on the one and nine part of the fake. Gainwell trying to get around the edge, and Kenneth Gainwell explodes all the way for another touchdown. I thought I told you, homie, we don't play. We okay. Another rap, another DOA. Hey, see, it's crazy what I'll do for the money. See, Christopher, and you thought he was a honey. When I go home, I told you. We ain't ready to go home yet. We still have, look at the link. Look at the link. We said, we ain't going nowhere yet, baby. Yeah! Don't be that baby! Ow! There we go, baby! <laughs> All right, now, we're moving on to the New Heights Stamp of the Week. Uh, this week, we have Kyle McCory being the New Heights, official New Heights stamp of the week. Had the sign, it was up on the Jumbotron at the Eagles game. But Jason, you finally signed a baby. That's right. I signed my first baby. I was sitting out there, I forget what quarter I'm in. I look up and it says, uh, Jason Kelsey, please sign my baby. And I was like, I'm going to have to find that guy before this <laughs> the game's Eagles, over. The Eagles put that on the Jumbotron? That's they put it on the Jumbotron. New Heights made it to the Jumbotron, baby. Look at us taking our game to new heights. <laughs> Moving on to Eagles and Giants. You guys uh, steamrolled them, 38-7. to seven. Uh, Third time playing a team. Usually doesn't end up in a blowout like this. Uh, the dominance from the start, 28-0 to zero at halftime. So how, how crazy was it in the link? The link is always going to be loud. It's always going to be a hostile environment. But the playoffs, it's like another level. Like It's like a – not only is it loud – but it's like an angry loud. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just like, oh, it's like a, I'm going to murder you. Like, it's like, it's like a, it's like an energy that is a confrontational oh, yeah. vibe. Uh -huh. I can attest to this. I've got and, caught in the madness. I've got caught in the madness. You would have thought I was a little Philadelphia kid uh, watching you guys have all those home playoff games when you guys won it uh, back in, what was that, 18? There's just something about the electricity at the link in the playoffs, man. It just brings it out of you, man. Yeah. Like, you can hear, like, when somebody yells, you can hear, is it like, like, hey! Or is it like, hey! Like, you can feel the energy difference in the yell. And it's a much more aggressive energy in the playoffs. And I think teams feel it. What's up, Ellie? Girls just got home. That was adorable. Hey, girly. The podcast has been fun. But more importantly, it's just been awesome to be able to interact with my brother once a week, have some time set apart where we get to talk and have fun together. Who's that? Hi. Who's that? Hi, Uncle Debbie. Hey, baby girl. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm too. You want to say hi, too? All right. Let's let Ellie say hi. Okay. This is my favorite time of the year right here. Favorite time of the day. Favorite time of the week. <laughs> Look at you, baby girl, you get big. Huh? Who's that? Huh? Ellie. It's Uncle Travis. he's talking to you. Hey, girly, look at you. As you know, in the grand scheme of a season, it's easy to kind of get lost and, you know, you're, you're fo so focused on things happening within your own team and you know, with your family and whatnot that, you know, it's easy to lose track of, you know, calling Trav or, or keep in touch with him, so. That's been the, the, the best thing is I've talked more to my brother in this past year than I probably talked for the previous 11 seasons. We have made it. Hey, -o. 
to the NFC and AFC championship. Um, Last brothers feels, left. Feels like this thing's rigged, man. Feels like this thing's rigged, but damn, it it's fun, be. man. It <laughs> is a fun time to be alive. And uh, good luck, brother, on Championship Sunday. Hopefully we, uh, we see you guys next week as winners. I mean, pretty much we just got to we gotta stick together. We got to do what we've been doing, um, connect every week, practice hard every week. Just taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. You know, just competing with each other first. I mean, we'll, we'll get on the field, we'll worry about them, but right now it's just about practice and getting better. I mean, that's the same formula we've been using all year. I've been fortunate to play here with a lot of guys, you know, BG, Fletch, and Lane. In particular, I've played a lot of football with, and now Isaac, so, uh, you know, I think we have a good balance on this roster of of, of guys who have been in every situation you can be in the NFL and young, enthusiastic guys who are getting those opportunities for the first time. I, I really do feel like to have a very complete team, uh, you need a blend of all of that. You can't just have one or the other. Um, so I, I really enjoy the fact that we have some young guys who are playing meaningful snaps that are gonna get to experience this for the first time. Uh, we'll also have an old guys that can kind of direct that energy and youthful enthusiasm in the right manner. Can you talk about one, one of the advantages you have going into this game is the crowd. So what is your message to the crowd to make things especially difficult for one of the toughest opponents you're going to face? Somebody asked me last week what my message was to Jalen like going into this game. It's his, his second playoff game. What's your message to Jalen? Be you. Um, so that'd be my same message to our great fans. Our great city is just be you. The reputation of having to come into Philadelphia and play is the reputation that we have because it is intimidating and it's loud. And they're hostile. They are hostile, you know, and so they'll make life difficult for this team that's coming in here because of, you know, who they are as fans and it's going to be loud. We'll feed off that and it's going to be energetic. You know, even though we as coaches and as players take it one game at a time and don't treat any game differently, I know that's not always the case with fans and they don't have to. They can get a little more amped up because of the stakes of this game and they are going to be a little bit more amped up and I say welcome. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great atmosphere.